Well, in case you ever uh, wondered uh, what Saskatchewan, Canada looked like, I'm sitting in the port, just crossed the border. Is that, no, the officer is over there. There's like three people in the office and there's nothing. There's like three houses and I think uh, this is what it all looks like. I'm, I'm at uh, Highway 6, uh, just crossed from uh, Montana. Well, the good news is that the speed limit is uh, 100 kilometers an hour, which is uh, roughly 62 miles per hour, so no people. So uh, all fields, left, straight, right, and um, it's about to turn into a local uh, highway uh, 18. And I'm going to a tiny hamlet by the name of uh, McCord, Saskatchewan. Well, I switched to a local autobahn called uh, Highway 18, and it's all broken up. Uh, Check out the amount of batches. The speed limit is uh, 90, and it's impossible to drive just in your lane because it's, you know, the truck just careens left and right. It's a really dangerous road. As before, there's no people, just some uh, crazy ducks. I think I saw a crocodile. Maybe it was a dog, I'm not sure. I think I see a house in the field. Uh, it's kind of a weird design. It's made all out of metal. I don't know how many people live in something like that. Saskatchewan is one crazy province. I think technically you shouldn't be even required to uh, carry a driver's license uh, up here. There's no signs. All right. There's no traffic. Well, I just went I just went through some uh, crazy hills and some sharp turns. You see like my GPS is showing up ahead there's like 90 degree turn. But that's it. How do people, uh, you know, like buy houses or bank or something? Do they even have internet here? And I think that McCord, the place where I'm going to, that's probably the biggest town uh, in Saskatchewan. We'll see. I've been driving on this uh, autobahn number 18, just under one hour. So far, I've seen uh, one car and one pickup truck. So half of the population like likes trucks, and I like them. Now, many Canadian uh, provinces uh, experience uh, high shortages of uh, labor, so they have this uh, provincial uh, nominee programs where they invite people uh, you know to work on a temporary uh, foreign worker visa and then after six months they give you uh, an opportunity to become uh, a landed immigrant so to do uh, these people a favor I want to show you what it looks like to live in Saskatchewan now of course it's not all like this there's a couple of big cities I was of course just joking about uh, those previous houses I saw but all in all it's uh, a really uh, you know not very populated area and that's my truck right there I have some uh, some kind of dirt that they use uh, in uh, nurseries. Well, it's uh, 54 Fahrenheit or 12 Celsius. And it's, uh, what, April 13th? Look at this. <laughs> There's still snow. Unbelievable. See, this stuff is off my truck. So I'm unloaded in the tiny hamlet of McCord, Saskatchewan. Population, believe it or not, 33 people. 33, that's it. So now I'm going on a tour. They're like a big circle. 
and I don't even think they have any any stores. No, actually, there is a Center Street. There's like a general store. It's all basically uh, agricultural. We'll have uh, trucks, tractors. Now, the guy said there was a general store somewhere at the end. There's a post office. So this must be the main street. Probably the uh, community gathering center where all the community gathers for parades and shit. That's the uh, type of houses uh, people have. So there's a museum. And oh, yeah. And of course, the name is uh, Lucky Dollar. Well, I have arrived at my destination. Yeah, I bet life in the town of my court, Saskatchewan, is really exciting. So this is uh, this is the only store in town, and actually, they have quite a good selection. I got some corn chips, I got some apples, I got diet coke, even got salsa. So now I'll have something to snack on because I have to do 258 kilometers or roughly 150 miles to Regina where there's a truck stop and just shut down till uh, Monday because today is Saturday and then I can uh, get a new load but that's what Saskatchewan is uh, is kind of like take care thanks for watching